Welcome to another game design and implementation video. In this video we will be focusing on getting the Oculus Quest 2 set up and running for development in Unity 3D for various units at QUT. Straight off the bat this process is a little convoluted and not very well documented online so this video should act as a slightly more straightforward guide to get you into VR development sooner. First of all, the Oculus Quest 2 is a somewhat unique headset that requires some specific hardware and software to properly develop with. It is both a wireless Bluetooth and USB headset that requires pairing with a mobile phone and a connection to your PC using a valid USB 2 or 3.1 cable, typically one that's relatively long. You are also required to set up either a Facebook or Oculus account if you do not have one already, so be aware that you will need to use these additional tools, connections and accounts. In a nutshell, these requirements are the following. For hardware, you'll need the Oculus Quest 2, you'll need a mobile phone or tablet, a USB cable and, of course, your PC. For software, there will be Unity, there will be the Oculus application on your PC, there will be the Oculus app on your mobile, and also SideQuest. One other thing to mention is that many of these devices and applications will require updating and time to configure. So, let any of these updates occur and attempt to do the steps after while this is happening. You should pause this video whenever necessary. Additionally, you may want to download and install the required software beforehand to save time, even though we will be doing that while going through this process. So the Quest 2 works in tandem with a Bluetooth device, typically your phone, for certain controls and features. So, you will need to pair the headset you are developing with to your mobile phone or tablet as well. You should enable Bluetooth on your phone and download the Oculus app from the Google Play or Apple Store, logging in using your Facebook or Oculus account. After this, turn on and equip the Oculus Quest 2 and make a note of the 5 number ID on the initial menus. This number appears on a fresh initialization or factory reset Oculus device. Follow the prompts until it asks you to connect to wireless. Now pause here for the moment and go back to your mobile device. Within the Oculus mobile app, pair with your device using the 5 pin ID. This operation is a handshake process allowing a single user to drive the Oculus device using their mobile device. This includes wireless connectivity. After successfully finding and pairing with the Oculus device, re-equip the headset and continue onwards. To connect to QT Wireless, you will need to use a domain name, that being the following, qtwireless.qt.edu.au. Uh, however, if you're using your home network, you can replace those details here, and most of the default settings should suffice during this process. Do note that you should connect to the QUT network and not the guest or other networks, otherwise you might have some issues. After enabling wireless, finish the rest of the setup prompts. Then, go back to the mobile app and enable developer mode by going to more settings, developer mode and enabling it. You will likely get a prompt within the headset asking for USB debugging. Accept these prompts too. At this point, you should also install the Oculus app for PC and plug the headset into your PC if you have not already done so. Then, open the Oculus app on PC up and go to Settings, General, and Allow Unknown Sources. This will allow us to use Oculus Link, which we will discuss later. At this point, you should be either at the Home menu or in the Oculus Link menu. And there's a difference between the two here. We will be using Oculus Link for development, and you can switch between them like so.
So to start with Unity, either install, reinstall or update your Unity installation to have the Android SDK and NDK tools for either Unity 2019.3 Plus or 2020.1 Plus. This can be done through Unity Hub directly by adding modules or during a fresh Unity install. For reference, I am using 2019.3 in this video. So let's start by creating a new 3D project in the updated Unity version. Upon entering Unity, you should immediately switch the build settings to Android. If we do this later, it will take an incredibly long time to re-import everything, which we should ideally avoid. To do this, go to File, Build Settings and select Android as your platform. Change the texture compression to ASTC and the run device to, to the headset which is connected via USB. Click on Switch Platform at the bottom. Now this will take some time so be patient, maybe play around with the headset during this time, or even better start installing SideQuest in the meantime. Now go to the Package Manager and import the XR Management Plugin. If this package is not visible, you may not have installed Unity correctly, or it may not be supported in your version. However, you may find it can be directly installed under Edit, Project Settings, XR Management in specific Unity versions. After importing this package, go to the Asset Store and search for Oculus Integration and install that package too. If requested, update both of these packages to the latest version and restart Unity. Now, go to Edit Project Settings and adjust the XR Plugin Management to install and run the Oculus XR Plugin. Do this for both Android and Desktop, as you will be developing in both. Make sure the Initialize on Startup checkbox is ticked for both as well. We need to adjust the graphics to work optimally for the Oculus Quest 2. To do this, go to Project Settings, Player, Android tab. Now make sure the color space is, first of all, set to linear. This may take some time. Uh, after this, uncheck Auto Graphics API and make sure that OpenGL ES3 is on top of the Graphics API list. Make sure Multi-Threaded Rendering is enabled and set the minimum API level to Android 6.0 Marshmallow or API level 23. If these settings are, for whatever reason, not visible, try restarting Unity. So let's get a simple scene up to look around in using Unity and Oculus Link. Search for the Scene Custom Controllers in your project and open it up. This scene has a basic OVR rig set up and ready to go, which we can analyze later. Go back into Unity and equip the headset to initialize it and make sure it is in Oculus mode with data sharing enabled, similar to how we did before. If you press play in Unity from this point with the headset initialized in Oculus Link mode, you can now view the scene from the headset as well while Unity is playing the scene. This is how we will be doing VR development with the Quest 2 at QUT. To create a build of your game, go back to File, Build Settings and add the currently open scene to your build. At the bottom, press Build to create an APK file for later transfer. We will be transferring this file using a program called SideQuest. But why are we doing this? So the Oculus device is not a device that we can just drag and drop files on via Windows Explorer. Typically most software needs to go through some kind of approval process and download it via the store and all that kind of thing. We are going to skip these steps and instead use a program called SideQuest to perform what is known as sideloading. So install and launch SideQuest and make sure your device is detected in the top left of the menu. 
This should detect properly if your device is connected via USB, is paired with your phone, and is connected to wireless. It's kind of like a triple whammy of authentication. From here, click on the Install APK icon. Select the APK file you saved previously and let it build to the Quest 2. Once that task is completed, you can play the build by equipping your headset and from the home page, selecting apps and navigating to unknown sources in the drop down in the right. Your Unity build should be available from the list for selection. To quit your build, tap the Oculus button on the controller and select Exit. During development at QUT, you may be required to switch between devices. Now, you can technically pair with a different device at any time, provided it is on and you know its 5-pin ID. You can therefore add more devices to your Oculus Mobile app by entering their 5-pin ID and switching between them from the Oculus Device Selection menu. Do note that the Oculus app constantly updates and may look slightly different for you than what it does in this video. If you need to differentiate between two devices, you will need to plug one into the PC via USB and within the Oculus application on PC, go to Devices, select the Quest 2 and identify it by its serial number. Notice that this is the same serial number that appears in your Oculus app which is useful if you are switching between devices. If you do not know an initialized device's 5-pin ID, you may need to perform a factory reset to obtain it. Make sure there is nothing on the device that you wish to retain, and power the device down by holding the power button. When powered off, hold the power and volume buttons down simultaneously until the boot menu appears. Finally, use the volume buttons to highlight factory reset from the list of options and the power button to select it. After this, make sure you record the 5-pin ID for pairing later.